Good afternoon. This is a special edition of the Daily Blooms. I'm Dave. This is uh, July 6th, 2017. Um, we're going to be looking at some day lilies that have opened up and uh, also some Asiatic lilies that have opened. Here's some day lilies that have opened up. Beauties. There's one over here, if I can get to it, so you can see it. Oh, can't see very well, I know, but... Um, there's a clematis that is out. Some Asiatic lilies that are out. This one is full of bugs. I don't know, Sammy is walking with me. Miss Daisy is still in the house. She's taking a little nap. Here's some uh, orientals. I believe these are oriental lilies uh, that are getting budded. Usually Asiatic lilies come out first. And uh, then you have the, you know, the taller ones uh, than the orientals. This has been a great year for Asiatic lilies. Um, this is a beautiful bunch right here, as you can see, pink has kind of gone out of them, but there's some beautiful ones. I'm showing it today because uh, it's going to rain this afternoon, I think. There's some down there we'll take a closer look at in a minute. I had to scold Sammy a little bit. He was getting a little farther away than he should. We usually try to stay in the confines of my home. I do own the house next door too, but uh, try to keep him close range, and he's good most of the time. But um, By the way, next door we do have some more that are in bloom, getting in bloom and in spike. Uh, We walk down here to look at uh, some of these lilies. Here again, these are Asiatic uh, crosses of red, pink. You can see these have been in the ground several several years now, probably four or five years. These white ones are absolutely stunning. Um, very beautiful. And then still loaded with buds. Um, more day lilies down here. There, day lilies are still slowly starting to open. Over here we have uh, a beautiful pink and white Asiatic lily. Uh, here's some more tall ones here. As you can see, they are loaded. Uh, come on, Sam. Uh, some more day lilies. The deer got these last year, so I didn't get to see them at all last year. This one was just loaded with buds this year. So is this one. They got both of them. I put deer repellent on them this year. Uh, here's some. This is a light orange one. Blooms quite early. They're in the final days of blooming now and they're usually a little bit more brighter orange than this but they're uh, coming along nicely thistles got some buds on them they have that blue tint to them uh, those are beautiful name escapes me at the moment here's uh, some more yellow ones here's another daylily this is a little bit different Asiatic. There's some deep red down there. Probably not going to make it down that far to see. I don't know if you can see them or not down there. You can see there's some buds that are just full. Some yellow ones from last year that I haven't got planted any place particularly yet this year. Uh, here are some more red ones. There again, they've been in bloom for quite some time and they're starting to fade and I 
wanted to get them today because after the rain I'm sure a lot of them will be gone um, this is a beautiful Asiatic spotted you can see there's some uh, sun coreopsis sun drop coreopsis I also have some that I carried over from last year up here uh, beautiful yellow there pink with spots or sundrop coreopsis. Uh, there's another perennial, can't think of the name of that at the moment. Closer up in that pink one with the spots in the middle. There's also some phlox there that's in bloom now. Uh, there are some beautiful things. The vanda that's still in bloom. Over here is some more Asiatic lilies. It's a little bit different color. This has been a good, very good year for Asiatic lilies. They have been absolutely beautiful. Well, there's a Maltese cross. I don't think I got that so you folks can see it. That's a pretty one when they're all open. Uh, let's see, these are more perennials. Uh, perennials that are in the process of blooming the various stages. I wanted to show you this one. This is one I bought from Lowe's like five years ago. It was a small plant. Uh, it has gotten humongous. This has been in bloom for, I don't know, three weeks probably. And it's fading now. But it still is a beautiful, beautiful uh, Asiatic lily. And that's about it for the moment, I think, for... Uh, Asiatic and daylilies. The daylilies have just started to open, but it's going to be a good year for them. As you can see, they are just loaded with buds. Uh, clematis has just been a good year for. Oh, there's my uh, my butterfly bush. I had a yellow one of these too, and uh, the yellow one didn't make it. And I've had this orange one uh, for two or three years now. I leave them in the pots and uh, put them in the ground. So, I think we're about out of time as I try to keep these eight minutes. Uh, that'll probably do it. We'll close on coneflowers. So this is a special edition of the Daily Blooms. Thanks for watching. Until Saturday. So long.